Welcome back to the Cricket Today podcast. I'm your host, Liam McCallion, also known as the Stats Guy. We've got Marcus Barzano, as always, here. He's up and about after the awesome T20 World Cup weekend. How you going, Marcus? Look, it was a great weekend. Yep. Shock results. Yeah. Poor batting, poor bowling. <laughs> yeah. It just, this Cricket World Cup has everything. It's been awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, people were on our live stream the other night on TikTok. That went yep. absolutely off for India, Pakistan. So thank you so much for that. Uh, yeah, so today we're going to wrap up the best games over the last four days. So going through four games, we've got a yeah and nah question, news, tips, and we're going to preview the biggest games that are coming up, including Australia and Namibia. So that's going to be an interesting, plenty, interesting one. Plenty of rants, so make sure you stick around. Plenty of rants about, yeah, maybe uh, Pakistan, England, possibly some other teams that we'll get into, some other umpiring. teams. Umpiring. <laughs> umpiring uh, rules. There's going to be a bit of everything. So, yeah, yeah make sure you get around this on pod, uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, and subscribe and like the YouTube as well, as well as all the socials at Cricket Today AU. Yep. All right, let's get right into it, Marcus. News. What do you want to start off? Start us off with. You got well, a lot to rant about over the we'll, last couple. We'll of days. start off with the most recent news. Okay. Okay. Because I think that's, that's topical. Yep. And it's Bangladesh South Africa last night. Yep. Bangladesh obviously lost by four runs, but there was a lot of controversy around a certain DRS rule. Yeah. Batsman Bangladesh batsman got given out after it clipped his pads that, for LB. I don't know how he got given out anyway. That was and a joke. The, and it came off his pads and went for four. Yep. Bangladesh lost by four runs, but if it goes to a DRS because of LBW. The ball is therefore dead. Yeah, and they didn't count the boundary. I, I think that that rule has to be changed. Has I don't know, to. I don't has know about to. what you're thinking. Has to. Yeah, hundred percent. And and it would have went to a super over. Look, Bangladesh might not have won that game. No, but it would have been closer. Yeah. Yeah, but Bangladesh they desperately needed to win that game, mm. and they were in a great position to win that game. But that rule sort of cost them, oh, and I, it might have cost them a spot in the super eight. I think. Because the review is, is after it's after the whole play, so it's not like the play is going to change at all because yeah, 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 because yeah. Uh, it's a dead ball or things like that. But no one thought it was a dead ball. Oh, I, I wonder if the uh, I have didn't oh, like I didn't see the the full clip of the I saw, ball I saw going the to the rope. There was no one near him. No one near him. So no. so it went literally pretty much behind the keeper. Okay, yeah. so so there was no chance like even because the fielder might have like, given yeah. up because the umpire gave it out. No, a fielder wouldn't have even got the there. The only so. thing is about changing that rule is yeah, if just the umpire gives it out and then. The fielder might have gone for it in other in other circumstances, but this one clearly went for four. Oh, it no. would have gone. So it was Pakistan. Ah, uh, not Pakistan. Bangladesh needed twenty six off twenty two, mm. and that sorry off twenty three. It would have been twenty two off twenty two balls. Run a ball in that sort of game is very handy. That four runs. Yeah, so 100%. Pakistan, uh, Bangladesh, absolutely robbed. I, I think so. <laughs> I think they, I think they were they were robbed of a super over. We won't say a win. Yeah. But they were robbed. And we're not uh, properly wrapping it up, but I'm just going to say about South Africa, they kept complaining about the pitch. It wasn't amazing yeah. to bat on, but some of their shots were woeful. They didn't pick up a few wrong ones, a few top spinners, yeah. a few cutters and things like that. They looked horrible, South Africa, mm -hmm. and I don't think uh, they can win the World Cup yeah, from here. The pitches haven't been great, and but no, everyone has to play on those pitches. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's not It's not like you're going to play yet, a different so. pitch on the second inning. So. Yeah. yeah. So All right. Mm -hmm. uh, next one. Two of the biggest teams in the world. Well, they think they are. Pakistan <laughs> and England. They are, they are. Uh, they are in terms of uh, a few different things in past tournaments, but Pakistan and England, could they not progress through the group stage? 100%. Reckon, they could both miss out. That is, is unbelievable. <laughs> England could finish third, probably most likely. Scotland might win that. England are currently uh, fourth behind Namibia in and, Group B, so you love to see that. And Australia are going to rest a lot of players against, for, is that against Scotland. Honestly. So Scotland, you, this could is, they do an upset? Could Australia... <laughs> Throw it. I'm um, yeah, impromptu, yeah, nah. Should Australia purposely lose to Scotland of Australia, so that yeah. England don't qualify? Oh, if Australia finish second, if Australia finish second, then it, like, it, it doesn't matter for their seeding. Yeah. Because even if they but, finish nah, first. Well, we're not going to lose on purpose. We obviously want a winning of course. form. And it doesn't really affect us if England make it through because they're not going to, I don't think they're going to progress too far anyway. They're not playing well at yeah, all. Yeah, exactly. But it's just funny that England might not be able to make it. Scotland have been mm. playing really, really well. They even they, have. they even uh, got their net run rate up against Oman. They purposely went really hard yep. early yep. to yep. try and get their net run rate up. It's been great cricket by them. Yeah. And they're first in Group B yeah. after three games. They've so got a positive net run rate of 2.1, yep. whereas England have a negative run rate of 1.8. <laughs> Jeez. Look, this could, yep. this could be great and then for, for Scottish cricket. Yeah, and then so England, that could still go either way, but Pakistan are cooked pretty much. Yeah. I don't think is there any there is a way they can make it out, but I think it's gonna be very hard for me. Yeah, I think because they, they need to prey on the US dropping some some winnable games. Mm -hmm. Um Ireland have been really disappointing. They have. Group. They usually go all right at World Cups. Yeah. yeah. Um they lost to Canada, obviously, not long ago. Yeah. Uh, but Pakistan, wow. Yeah, they they should choked against India. They should have won. We were watching it. They, oh. were, they were terrible against America. Mm. We were the only uh, well, Pakistan fans in the whole of Crown Melbourne. Uh, yeah, yeah, cheering them on and getting a few greasies. Yeah, hundred percent. But but we had 
Twenty-four thousand viewers on the screen. It was on the stream, So yeah. yeah, thank you very much to you guys. For that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and if you watch us on TikTok especially and you're watching us on YouTube, just make sure you subscribe. That's the main 100%. thing. Road to 1,000. We're close to 700 now, I think yep. is what you said. So yeah, road to 1,000. Next one in the news, uh, has jo Joss Butler and England got it totally wrong? Tim Payne uh, had a few uh, kind, not so kind words for England. Uh, was it well, yesterday? I mean, is he wrong though? <laughs> yeah. What did he <laughs> is say? Is Tim Payne wrong though? He well, to, just to give some context, um, it was about the Australia-England game and in England chose to bowl first yeah. and their reasoning was because of the short square boundary and the wind. Yeah. Usually in professional cricket, you don't worry about the wind. The boundary's yeah. not going to come yeah. in for the second innings. <laughs> yeah, they and changed, the pitch, don't they? And yeah. the pitch was t sort of tough to bat on yeah. in, the, in the first well, not point. Well, right? for Australia. Right? <laughs> it's going to get even tougher in the second innings yeah. after you've had 20 overs on it. Yep. And the wind's not going to change. Mm -hmm. The boundary length isn't going to change. <laughs> no. So why bowl first? And then when you do bowl first- You just bowl pies. Think of it. Yeah. Oh, th this is what Tim Payne said, and I'm going to say I'm going to say the same thing. Okay. So, this isn't my words. <laughs> what well, is now? Who would you rather? Who would you rather face as an opening batsman? So, say Travis said and David Warner. Yep. Who would they rather face? Would they rather face a spinner in the first over and in Moeen Alley, or would they rather face Mark Wooden, Jofra Archer coming in 150 exactly. with, <laughs> yeah. in a in a rivalry game? Yeah. No, they they obviously rather face a spinner. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. and they they got yeah. to set their set their eye in before yeah. Mark Wood came on. Mark and, then you bowl, is, and you bowl a part timer yeah. in the second. I'm not done, stats guy. All right, sorry, you keep you going. Bowl, you keep you going. bowl a part timer in the second over in Will Jacks. Yeah, who goes for 22. Yep, or whatever, 20 plus. That was horrible. And then it led Mark Wood to come on, who went for 20 plus in his first over, because they got their eye in. Yeah, you need Mark Wood with the new ball. And Mark Wood has had so many good matches against Australia, like yeah. even better than Joffrey Archer and a lot of other bowls. So yeah. that was very weird. Yeah, yeah, he did go for 22 off. He's one over Will Jacks. I don't think we'll see him bowl in oh, the rest of the tournament. That was honestly, pretty Honestly, like uh, the captaincy, I think Joss Butler, mm. he's a great- He's a great player. He's a great player. But and, and decision-making, yeah. And he was great in the Australia game with the bat. He made 40 odd for 28 balls. Yeah. But it's just tactics-wise, but you look at the, the rest of the England squad, like, are you going to put captain though? Mm. Like, Moe and Ali, yeah. not really inspiring. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you don't. You sure. don't we got Ben Stokes, obviously, in the, in the other other formats, but yeah, yeah, don't know about that one. Uh, last one in the news: Afghanistan. I think you've put him in there. What, yeah, what are, are, you, they, are, they, are they the team of the tournament so far? For they, I'll say, they yeah, they rushed New Zealand. They've been amazing. Thrashed New Zealand. They've got just T Twenty specific players, which we've yep. uh, banged on about for a long time. I know Australia mm -hmm. like to keep the same team, but Afghanistan, they've just got so many guys that travel around the world. They demolished New Zealand, and New Zealand mm. have a pretty solid team. Yeah, one hundred percent. It would be great to see when um, they play the West Indies. Yeah, because both of those uh, have won both of their games. Mm -hmm. um, but the net run rate of plus five point two <laughs> for Afghanistan. It helps when they bowled uh, Uganda out for thirty nine, which is the lowest, equal lowest uh, total in World Cup history. Mm. Yeah, but they also bowled New Zealand out for seventy five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? And New Zealand aren't easy beats. No, either. no. So Afghanistan have been great. Gurbaz mm -hmm. looks solid opening the batting, and yeah. And, the spinners of Faruqi and Rashid Khan. Oh, they're going to be great throughout this whole tournament. Yeah, they're so fun to watch. All yeah. right, that's the uh, news covered. We've we've actually done some impromptu yeah nars in there as well. I reckon yeah. the main yeah nah of the show. What do you got for us, Marcus? Should the Pakistan 2020 coach be sacked? Oh. And here's Gary Kirsten, formerly of South Africa. Yes. Um, obviously, the Aussie uh, Dizzy Gillespie is the Test coach for Pakistan. Mm -hmm. But Gary Kirsten is the 2021 day coach, and you think this is one of the poorest tournaments for Pakistan in recent history? I'm gonna say nah, but not because I don't think it's come down to his coaching. I think just a lot of their players have absolutely choked. Like, yeah. uh, for example, we'll get into some of the game. Race. In they other choked words, in the super over. Gerald, you're gonna have to bleep this, but they bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Pakistan players, <laughs> oh, they, they have shocking. They have. That's. I don't think it comes down to the coach. I think that some of their plans, like even in that super over before the super over, they were trying to go for the wide Yorkers and things like that. Then mm. they're bowling wides. They're they're bowling yeah, off like, the pitch and things like, like that. Yeah, seven wides. We'll in the get super into that over. in the game wraps, but. So I'm going to say nah, but I feel like a lot of pressure will be coming from the Pakistan fans. They don't have even. Mm. They don't even have belief in our comments section that they can beat Canada. Yeah. And Canada are only in the tournament because they host uh, part of the uh, yeah, not, not associate host, nation. Yeah, yeah associate nation. Coaching, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to say nah, but what are you all leaning towards? Yeah, should um, you be sacked? <laughs> it's so it's so tough. I don't want to be too reactionary though. Yeah. That's, that's the only issue. Oh, to be fair, they've been very. They played well against India. Yeah. Well, their bowlers did. I think I think team selection's been somewhat poor. Mm -hmm. It's like that's like another criticism that yeah, you could I, put I, on the coach yeah, instead of like the coach. Yeah. instead of like like in game. Um, 
tactics and that sort of stuff. But yeah. like, to be fair, in the bowling innings, the tactics they against India, they arguably got it spot on. Yeah. Um, they were probably just a bit unlucky at times. But look, you can't be losing to America if you're Pakistan. No, definitely not. Look, yeah. He's, he's on fraud watch. We'll fraud fraud, fraud watch. All right. Well, yeah. If they lose to Canada, I think he shouldn't. He's gone. He's gone mid World Cup. Yeah. He might might not even get to go to the next game. Yep. All right. There we go. You've heard <laughs> it here first. All right. Let's get into the game wraps. We're going to cover the main game. So one game per day across the last four days. Yep. Uh, so the first one we're going to start with uh, look away now, Pakistan fans. Sorry. Pakistan versus USA. Pakistan made 159 for seven. USA 159 for three. We got a super mm. over. USA win in the super over, Marcus. What the hell happened there? 18. America made 18 oh. in the super over because of one man. Well, they only made, yeah, 11 off the bat. Yeah. Because of one man and it was a mere. <laughs> he bowled seven wides in a super over. That's unacceptable. Seven wides. He, unacceptable. He's, probably, he's helped USA with, I'd say, the biggest World Cup upset ever. Oh, I think yeah, because it's USA Associate Nation first World Cup, yep. Pakistan, including people like us, are saying they could they have a chance of going all the way. They yeah, we had, we penciled them in as semi finals, yeah. almost. And and USA have beaten them, but Amir yeah really choked in that in that super over yep. seven. What had he had he bowled seven wides in professional cricket in in your career, it. let alone one over. I don't get it. That is it. Was it was it uh, rigged? No, I'm not going to say that. that <laughs> it, it just it seemed a bit fishy that he was just bought, he was going for the wide yorkers. The plan yep. was there, but he just couldn't. Couldn't hit the pitch. What was he doing? Yeah, I don't know. It's worrying sign for Pakistan, but we've already gone over them. But yeah. uh, we're going to talk about how good America. Have yeah, been they so were amazing. Manank Patel, fifty off thirty-eight. Yep. Uh, he he's had a really good build-up to the tournament. Sort of one of those guys. Aaron Jones uh, didn't get get that massive score, but they've got a lot of guys that can make a big score. And uh, Pakistan just one hundred percent. Could they uh, yeah. like assuming they make it through to the Super Eight, which can, is unbelievable? Yeah. Can can they cause an upset? Oh, I don't want to get ahead of well, myself. Well, because it is another group stage, so yeah. it's not a one-on-one -on -one game. But to be fair, one fifty-nine in this uh, World Cup as well is a really good score. There's been a lot of uh, low scores, scores, especially in, on the American pitches. Yep. Uh, where are they right now? So they're second. I think at, at this stage it's going to be India, USA, and making out of that group. Yeah. Not Ireland, not Pakistan, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Ireland have been really poor. Yeah, Ireland have been well. very bad. So uh, I don't know if they can cause an upset in the next round, but mm. if they make it out of the group stage, that is one of the best results in cricket history, yeah. I, I think, because yeah, no one would have thought that was going to happen. Almost, I'd almost say in American national sport Sporting history. Sporting history, yeah. Yeah. Get the baseballers over. I feel like Baseball's a crap sport. Watch, watch cricket. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. They're like, of course, they're always going to win the basketball and they're yeah, always going to win the, yeah. like the baseball and, and, and the Olympics and that sort of stuff. But no but one would have thought cricket, yeah. No one thought. No one would have thought in cricket, mm. home nation. I think it's just great for cricket in America. That's actually one other thing of cricket in America. I don't know if you saw Dale Stain. I was talking to you about it uh, the other night. Yes. There was very funny yes. video. You should search it online on the uh, T20 World Cup socials. They've got <laughs> this thing in America trying to teach Americans how to play cricket. Yep. I don't even think the teachers know how to play cricket. But anyway, that's another thing. Yep. Dale Stain, South African legend that all uh, people watching this podcast will know. One of the best bowlers of all time. Mm. Scariest eyes as well. Anyway. Yep. He, he went over to America pretending that he didn't know anything about cricket. They're teaching him how to bowl. Then he's bowling thunderbolts in the net. Like, oh my God, you're really good. <laughs> and they didn't know who Dale Stain was. They didn't know. Who, they didn't have a single clue who he was. He bowled a full toss into the stumps, just destroyed the stumps. And they're like, oh no, you're supposed to make a bounce first. And then he, <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh, oh I'm trying. Yeah, anyway, it's that was, so embarrassing. That was very funny. They didn't. Oh, to be fair, if you don't know cricket, you're not going to know who Dale Stain is. Oh, no, but, but then once he's bowling that quick, they're like, Oh, he's just picked it up really well. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like once, once oh, you get, I was very like funny. once they were filming him bowling and then yeah. like doing all Surely this sort of knew, stuff, yeah. you'd, you'd think that like when he's walking around with a second, you probably <laughs> think. Anyway, that was a yeah, pretty of a funny one. Check it out on all the socials and yeah, sorry for doing an American accent. That was pretty, that was pretty average. <laughs> no, I rated it. It was not too bad. All right, well, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll have a look back at that one and see if I can improve. All right, next game wrap we're going to do huge up. I would say this is a big upset as well. Afghanistan versus New Zealand. Mm. 159 again. So there's three scores of 159 in a row there. Yep. 159 for six off their 20 overs. Afghanistan. They've bowled out New Zealand who have a decent batting lineup mm. for 75 off just 15.2 overs. Afghanistan win by 84 runs and their net run rate absolutely skyrockets. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, we've already talked about this, but Afghanistan arguably team of the tournament so far. Yeah. Going to finish top most likely. West, it depends. If uh, 
Is that West Indies Afghanistan, Indies Afghanistan, game? Afghanistan game? I, 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 I fancy I fancy Afghanistan. I think I tipped West Indies because I, they've been really really good as well. So I'm, I might have to change my tip. I think I tipped West Indies. But too. you're going to change to Afghanistan. But I'm going to change to Afghanistan because I've been so impressed by them. I yep. think they got the, the the spinning cartels. They're top, unreal. Yep, they're top order batting. Which Gerbaz, or Gerbaz, I think you say eighty yep. or fifty six. Nine sixes. Yep. There was so many that I was like, oh, this is, this is I just watched the highlights just before. I, I swear he's going to get caught out about six times. He just hits them straight up. And he then does. somehow he's just picked, oh, yeah, the wind's there. It's just going to take it right over the line. Yeah. He was awesome. Yeah. And it, like, even the first game, mm -hmm. um, first game of the tournament. Yeah. Uh, like, I know it was against Uganda, but still, he's still, a great batter. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, he was superb. So um, I think they've been really great. I think it's just batting depth a little bit with Afghanistan. Yeah, they should have made a lot more than 159. They started mm. so well. Yep. Uh, that's the only worry. They were but, one for 100 after 14. But if your bowlers can bowl New Zealand after 75, then you don't have to worry about making a big score. <laughs> Just yeah, make over exactly. 100. And then, exactly. And then yeah, who are their bowlers, the main standout bowlers in this Main one? standout bowlers, obviously, uh, for Ricky and, so and Rashid Khan. Mm. Both finished with figures of four for 17. <laughs> I think Rashid, Rashid Khan bowled four and Faruqi bowled like three and a half. Three, so, yeah, nice. Um, yeah, they were they were great. Yeah, fa the Faz, he's so quick. He, but yeah, awesome for the uh, Sydney Thunder mm. as well back in the day. Can we so, talk about New Zealand here actually yeah. for a second? They've only played one game. Yeah, why have they only played one game? Which is ridiculous weird, because anyway. the tournament's been going for almost two weeks. And then their next game's not till Thursday. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, so they've, they've only played one game, but obviously concerning times for them, mm. cons like in terms of net run rate. Because the, the two best net run rates, I think in the whole tournament, our top two in their group. Yes. So the, the chances of New Zealand making it out now is very hard. But New Zealand would have to be, have to West win Indies. every single game. Yeah. Which they can. They'll beat the Papua West New Guinea and they'll beat Uganda, and but they need a huge net run rate spike Ooh. in those games. Yeah. They definitely can get a net run rate, but I don't think they're going to beat West Indies the way the West Indies are playing. Yeah. So that's an interesting one. Mm. Mm. There you go. Uh, so that's Afghanistan, New Zealand. Definitely worrying signs for New Zealand. Oh, the main event, Australia, England. Yes. Cop that, Poms. Uh, Australia, 201 for seven. The convicts do it again. The convicts do it again. <laughs> Get their revenge. England, 165 for six off their 20. Yeah, we said yeah. There's, it was a pretty tough pitch, but Australia just made it look easy. 201, that, just an awesome effort. And yeah. as you mentioned before, just not the best captaincy, probably not the best bowling choices, yeah. helped Australia win by 36 runs. Yeah, 100%. I think, yeah, the, the bowling mm. innings of England was very, very poor. Mm. Um, and I think like they also they, they played some some poor shots with the bat, yeah. I'd probably say. Um, but again, England just don't do it in tournaments. Like no. You know, like England normally have the wood over Australia in 2020. Yeah. In 2020s. Definitely. Um, but when it comes to tournaments, they just, they just crumble. They struggle. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's Even though the they won the last tournament, but yeah. Look, since historically, then, they, don't, they don't do well. No. Uh, and then, yeah, I was going to say the best batters for Australia, but what is it? The first one, the first top five all made 28 plus. Yeah. So although no one made a massive score, and that's neither, all you need. None of those made a half century, did they? No. There was, there was, yeah, all five have made over 28 plus, a lot mm. of 30s in there. Uh, Travis Head and David Warner just getting off to an awesome start around that 200 striker. Yep. Davey had 39 off 16, so that's a 243 strike rate. Yeah. Absolutely love he's that. Been, he's been superb. Yeah, he's been awesome. A lot of people, including, I don't know about it was on this show, earlier on, we were like, oh, should Davey be picked? But mm -hmm. he's definitely showing that. And he was should. very, very stiff to get out as well, by the way. I didn't it was, um, I Mo, he got bowled by Moe and Ali. That's right. Yeah. And it, it didn't basically bounce. rolled. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> went under his It was back. a half yeah. tracker and he went to smash it for six oh, uh, over mid wicket and, and it, and it almost rolled and bottled. Yeah, that's the worst. And then uh, Zampa and Cummins both got two for as well. They were great. Just yep. very economical, which is what you need in these uh, T20 World Cups. Yeah, Zamp Zampa ended up getting the man in the match because he did get he did break the partnership. Yeah. They were looking strong, England, mm -hmm. uh, with Joss Butler and yeah. uh, Phil Salt. Opening and then the Zampa bank. came on, said, see you later. Yeah, it was the first ball. First ball, I think, of his, of his, of his, of the of his match. Spell. Of his spell, sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, got, um, he got Phil Salt out, so... He, he's, he was great in that game, Adam Zampo. He was made for that sort of pitch. And yeah. he loves bowling in the Caribbean. Yeah. And then, yeah, the Aussies cruised pretty much in the end. Bowled him out. Oh, sorry. Didn't bowl him out, but only made 165 England. Yeah. Are they the favourites for the tournament now? Or Australia? Australia. We already were probably, but still the favourites? I'd say yes. Yeah. I'd say yes. Because although- well, They're more India. Although, yeah. although India are probably the, arguably the second favourites. They didn't all go the, well all with the All the favourites. Yeah. They haven't been outstanding. No, no. Because they, they obviously cruised past Ireland. Ireland had been terrible. They probably should have lost And they should have lost to Pakistan. Mm. Yeah. Got a great segue, as Leo would say on the show. He just likes to say that. Uh, India, Pakistan. 
did a huge live stream for this. I was cheering on. I said I thought India would win, but I was cheering on Pakistan just secretly <laughs> on the live stream. Underdogs. Uh, India made 119, which is definitely under par in any match. Bowled out. Between. Bowled out in the 19th over. They mm. were awesome, uh, Pakistan, with their bowling. Yep. Pakistan, just short, 113 for seven off 20 overs. We were watching this uh, in the Uber on the way back, uh, cheering for Pakistan to get over the line, but they just couldn't yeah. get it done. India win by six runs in the end. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it was almost done with a few overs to spare, wasn't it, really? It was just like there were a couple of boundaries in the last over by by like the number nine batsman. They were um, cruising as well, uh, Pakistan. No yeah. way. They, they were way ahead of the run rate. They were, oh, and then they just- If Rizwan awesome. stayed in- Rizwan, like, yeah. He, Although his strike rate was poor, I think we'll put on this because Rizwan and, and Rishabh Pant were the anchors yeah. for both teams. You don't need a big strike but rate Rish, Rish, chasing 119. Yeah, exactly. But you look at the anchors of those innings, uh, Rizwan's strike rate was was poor. Actually, that was bad. 70. 70, <laughs> That's not 70 good. like 31 or 44 in a 2020 mm. compared to Rishabh Pant, who made 42 off 31. Yeah. That's and, and that's sort right, of yeah. the, probably the difference yeah. in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, Palm, yeah, Richard Palm was awesome. He, he, there was a few times where it looked like everyone was crumbling around him and he's just still hitting some boundaries and looked yeah. really good, didn't he? Yeah, look, like they they were arguably lucky, India, yeah. to make that score because yeah. they were – Pakistan bowled really well. It's just some shots just nicked for four mm. and landed safe or a yeah. dropped catch or like a tough – like a running back with the flight. Mm-hmm. But they were – they were poor Pakistan when it came to the to the batting innings. Yeah, no good. The uh, yeah, India crumbled towards the end of their innings with uh, Nazim Shah three for twenty one. He was awesome bowling mm-hmm. absolute thunderbolts. A few uh, people in the comments were worried about him in in this tournament, saying yep. he hasn't looked right since his injury, but he looked back to his best. Mm-hmm. Had the chain flowing. That's uh, he looked and it, uh, how good was up and about. Jasper Broma though for India. Jasper Broma, he's probably been play with the tournament. Uh, him, who else has got? Gurbaz has been played well. Someone else has got a lot of wickets. For, oh, Faruqi's got more Faruqi's wickets. Faruqi's got a lot of wickets, yeah. But Bumra has been really good, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Ger- uh, Faruqi with nine wickets. Uh, Norkio's played three games, eight okay. wickets. Um, he's actually not in the top five for wicket takers. Bumra, but he's been very economical, yeah. Very economical mm-hmm. and um, and did win in, did win India the game. Yeah, they were too good in the end, India. Pakistan definitely should have won that. Mm-hmm. I think it's now up to 16-1. I had a look this morning. I need to double check that. 16 1 that Pakistan have lost to India in World Cup matches. Yeah. They, they, they don't know how to, Pakistan just don't know how to beat India in World Cup that's matches. That's ridiculous. Every time they play each other, you can pencil it in India win, which is mm. very sad for Pakistan fans. And uh, now they're not even confident to beat Canada. Well, did you see Speed was in the crowd? Yeah. yeah <laughs> Speed yeah. was in the yeah, crowd. I India, saw that. Pakistan. I showed Speed, yeah, yeah. And absolutely cracked the fruities when Gerard <laughs> Coley went out. He was, 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 was wearing a Coley top. Yeah. It was very, there, was, there was Indians uh, sitting next to him and he goes, it's okay. It's okay. And he's like, no, it's not okay. <laughs> it's yours. And he was just saying it. But no, it was he's very funny. Yeah. What is he? He loves Ronaldo. So now his new one is, uh, is it, Coley. He's it? very smart marketing. He is. He is. Very he's just going, who is the biggest? So he's Who's just going, the biggest what's in cricket? every sport? He want, he want to go on, what's cricket? Who's the biggest player? Oh yeah, I'll go for him. Yeah. <laughs> and then he should be going for America. They're going, they're going really well. Yep. Anyway, uh, yeah, you should get a, an Aaron Jones shirt or a, or a Manank Patel shirt. There we yeah, go. Speed. If, you, if you're watching this. I'm sure he is. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. We've gone through the game wraps, unfortunately, for Pakistan fans. We tucked in there, two losses in there. Tipping results so far. I'm surprised that you're leading this. What do you mean? I don't know. Just just to give you a clip. Uh, on. Marcus is on 16. Born I'm on 14. What was the different ones? Uh, you, I tipped India. You tipped Pakistan. Oh, yeah. On the tipping. I tipped and, Pakistan. That was dumb. And uh, I tipped Bangladesh. You tipped Sri Lanka. Oh, right. I, buddy, Sri Lanka, Leo's, Leo's team. I'm is telling absolutely you, <laughs> I told you. So anyway, I'm on 14. I'm Tom, Mr. Unagi. <laughs> Tom from Punners or Tom from Cricket Today. He's over in Bali living it up over there. He's on 12. Uh, and then Olivia's on 10. I think Olivia- They've both just haven't tipped, forgot to tip oh, recently. Oh, did they? Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. They both just forgot to tip recently. Oh, so. they probably gave up after um, a bad first round. It's me versus Liam. Yeah, uh, yeah Marcus versus uh, myself. Yeah, so he's up to, with a two lead. I'm- I might have to change a few of my tips. I might have to Ooh. do a few upsets, I think. I'm never tipping Sri Lanka again, I've decided. Even if, <laughs> I, don't, I don't care who they're playing, not tipping Sri Lanka. And then I'm- I told you, they, I'm they're going to finish. They're going to finish bottom or second bottom. <laughs> Could I possibly tip Canada against Pakistan? No, I probably, I probably can't do that. All right. Before we get into this, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to say it again and again and again. Subscribe to our YouTube so we can get to that uh, 1,000 mark. Yep. Let's get into some, to some quick fire tips. I'm just going to go through the games as I get them up here. Next one tomorrow, is it Pakistan, it Canada? It is Pakistan, Canada. Pakistan, Canada. All right, Pakistan fans, surely no more pain. Surely they win this. They, have, have, to, to they have to prove a point. Yeah. And Canada have been all right. They've actually been pre- pretty yeah. good. They 
should have beat America. Yep. They, the they beat Ireland. And then they which beat Ireland. I would not actually I didn't tip them against Ireland either. So that's another yeah. tip I didn't get. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get that right. No, either. no. Um but, but Pakistan have to bounce back. Yeah. We're both going Pakistan that one. Yeah. All right, Pakistan. Uh next one. I'll quickly go through. I've lost it. Sri Lanka Nepal. Sri Lanka Nepal. Nepal. I said I'm not going to tip Sri Lanka ever again. <laughs> but, but no, I'm not. Actually, five seconds stop later. it. I'm Nepal. tipping Nepal. Their fans are going to will them over the line. They have the best fan base in T20 oh, World Cup cricket it. right now. So I'm tipping Nepal. Why not? The Nepalese fans get around yeah, it. You're going to get the your Sri Lanka win. hate. Oh, I'm tempted to go with it just for the show. <laughs> Tipping wise, no, leaderboard. You who are you tipping? I'll go Sri Lanka. Okay, Sri Lanka. Uh, next one. Actually, we'll cover Australia. I'll skip that one and come back to that one. Uh, US versus India. Big this game. is actually a huge game. Big game. Top two in the group. Yep. But I think I've got to go India. They're just too experienced. Yeah, exactly. India? Yep. Yeah, India. I think Jasper Brumra, another field day. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an, an, another one, actually. Well, actually, we're gonna, we'll do this one as the last one I'll get into. Yeah, yeah. West Indies, New Zealand. Who's, who's that one? That's another massive game. New that Zealand need a win. Game. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to go West Indies. Yeah, I think just, the, just at home. Just at home? The West Indies, they've looked better to start this tournament. And New Zealand, pl only playing one game in two weeks is, is not great. No. All right, uh, all right. That's our quick fire tips. We've actually done it quick fire for once. Uh, Australia versus Namibia is the main one we're going to talk about. Yes, this is another big game. Australia are going to. I think they're going to cruise through and uh, be undefeated. Maybe throughout the whole tournament. I'm going to say why, why not. Ooh, uh, go <laughs> let's go with the standout player. Australia Namibia can be from either team. Yeah, look, a part of me wants to go David Warner. Yeah, but yeah. I think Trampleman with uh, Trampleman opening yeah. the ball. Yeah, it will, will we have lost early issues. wickets. Yeah, but if David Warner can get through that patch, mm -hmm. I'm I fancy him to make a big score. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm with David Warner. All right. Uh, I'm going to go David Weiser. Why not? From uh, Namibia. I think Namibia. he's going to have a pretty good game. Yep. Australia, even against Oman, they got a lot of early wickets. I think Weiser might get a couple of wickets and then he'll have to carry that middle order with the bat. Yep. So yeah, watch out for him. But then for Australia, I'm gonna, I keep saying Zampa. I think he's going to end up having a four or five for game just because mm. he's so threatening towards the stumps and he's yep. been really good in this tournament. Man of the match last one. So yeah, it'll be, reckon, it'll be top five spinners in the tournament. Yeah. Yeah, and then even in the big bash, he was horrible. But then when it comes to the when he plays for Australia, when he puts mm. on the green and gold, he goes. I'm and he, he has bowled a lot in the Caribbean, yes. which helps. Yeah, so that helps. Uh, so that's the standout players score prediction, uh, and and winner. I'm going to go Australia. Maybe oh, it's going to be. I think it's, I think it's going to be I like another be Oman close. sort of game. Yeah, I reckon it'll be about 40 runs, 30, 40 runs, same yeah, as the last one. Yeah, I agree. Where Australia might lose a few early wickets. And then maybe Mitch Marsh or a few others might settle them down. And mm. then are we going to have the same team, do we think? I think it'll be the same I team. I think it will be the same team against Namibia because <clears throat> yeah. Namibia have started really well yep. in this tournament. What's um, your prediction on this one? Yeah, I'll, I'll go the same as you. Yep. Australia by 20 to 40. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. That's uh, all of our quick fire tips and the game wraps done there. Make sure you sh check out all of us uh, on the socials. There's going to be some shorts as well coming up for India versus Pakistan rap. Show you versus maybe a preview like we just did then. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, and that's Stumps for the Cricket Today show. We'll be back with this on Thursday. Thursday. Um, Thursday, why not? For another another massive show, why not? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep the content pumping. Keep yeah, we, pumping. Know, we know you guys <laughs> want it, so we're going to keep delivering. Absolutely. So send any questions. Make sure you get around the comments. Uh, and I think that's it. Thank you very much to uh, Gerald behind the camera. I don't know why I just forgot your name there. <laughs> <laughs> that's horrible. Thank you very much, Marcus. Yeah, thank you, Susco. Uh And thanks to me. That's another episode of Cricket Today done. We're out. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.